Welcome back. In this lecture, an important one, I'm going to demonstrate the Boolean operations in Figma. What this means is, let's say you have multiple shapes, right? So you have two circles or two different shapes or layers. And what you can do is with those layers, you can do several kind of operations with them. So you could do subtract, you could do union, you could do intersection, and so on. So let me show you what I really mean so it kind of makes sense as I give you an example. So let's say we have these two layers, right? Two of these cars. And I want to overlap these layers and then apply certain Boolean parameters. But before I actually start working with these shapes, let me give you a simpler example. So I'm going to go ahead and create a frame, same size. And I'm going to quickly draw maybe a rectangle or some ellipse tool. So hold the shift key down right to make sure it's a perfect circle. So I'm going to say maybe it's 172 by 172. And then I'm going to copy it and then create another circle. Okay, so I have these two shapes of equal size. So once I have these two circles of the same size, for instance, notice on the top here, it gives me the options, right? Such as the union selection, the subtract, intersection, and exclude selection. And the reason why they're grayed out because I've not selected each of these layers, okay? So let me go ahead and first overlap partially these two circles so you can actually see, make it a little bigger. Perfect, it's better. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold the Shift key down on my keyboard since I'm using Windows. And again, if you're a Mac user, I've included several shortcuts for Mac users in the resource section, even though this entire course has been designed and taught using Windows. So if you're a Mac user, just kind of go along and take a look at the shortcuts in your command and control keys on your Mac so that you're able to follow along. So once I've selected these two objects here, if I click on the drop down arrow, notice I have these four options now available to me, which is the union selection, subtract, intersection, and exclude. First, once you have these two objects selected, let me go ahead and click on union. And what this will do is we'll merge these two different shapes together. So if I click on union, notice now I have these two shapes. Similarly, if I do subtract, it's going to subtract the top layer, the right side of the layer from the first one. Similarly, if I were to do an intersection, it would only give me the center intersection where both of these layers or objects meet or overlap. And with exclude, it's going to exclude the middle part. And then flatten out selection means it's just going to flatten out the entire layer itself. So this is very powerful, especially when you're actually designing certain shapes or images and you want to overlap these images. So let's take a step further. Let me go ahead and if I click notice on these three shapes here three times, it gives me the availability to actually manipulate the shape the way I want to. And this again brings, it, it actually makes a vector, right? So I can work with my vector design based on my own requirement. So if I need to overlap, let's say this side, just like an overlay, right? When you're turning the page, let me go ahead and give it some color. There we go. And same thing, I can do it for this side as well, or any side. So again, it depends on the shape that you wish to create and use. So let me go ahead and select the shape, flatten the selection, and now I have this image. Perfect. So that way you can kind of practice and, and take a look at different Boolean operations in Figma. And once of course I have this, I can make it smaller. And then I can take this shape and place it anywhere on my the other screens. So that way, once you're designing, you can actually work with this. Perfect. Let me get rid of this. That was just an example to show you. So in this instance, 
you can of course change the color here and do all sorts of things right instead of solid you can have linear or radial angular diamond and so on so it just depends on your own requirement so now our app is looking even better right so just wanted to demonstrate the boolean operations and working with vector shapes very powerful so based on your own project or the requirement from the client you could continue to create different shapes and use these boolean operations so i hope this helps practice with it let's move to the next lecture